So I have shown you in previous videos how to download data from Power BI to CSV, in this case, and store it in SharePoint. And it worked beautifully. There was no row limit, no row limitation. But for every loop that we did, if you remember how we did it, the header of the CSV got saved. So we ended up with a file like this. Let me show you. So if you go here, and I'm going to say, search by the header. So you see that all the headers were called safe. In this case, we got five loops and the header for each loop. And you ask me, how do you do that? How do you get rid of that? And I'm actually going to show you how to do it. It was actually somebody in the comments. Let me show you. We have here Ratnakar JV. And he actually gave the solution here. But I know because you've told me some of you did not know how to paste the code, so we're, I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to this video and follow the steps. And once you've done that, you are going to end up with this flow. What I do always is I do a copy. Uh, copy to. Just in case I break something that I can always go back and start all over. I'm going to click on edit. And then first we need to turn it on. Let me turn it on. So, edit. And what he is telling us to do here is it says go to the uh, do until loop append to string variable, which is do until loop is in here, append to string variable is in here. And instead of this output, what he said is that we need to put this part. What he's basically doing is it's it's you know getting the body of the CSV and then skipping the first row, I believe, of the CSV. So once you go in there, you go to expression, you paste it there, click OK, and now you run it again. That's all you needed to do. It was actually fairly simple. Uh, let's run it. And now as you can see, well, it runs. So we had on the original file 102, 163 rows. We should have five less if we are getting rid of the headers or four less. So let's see if it's run. Just let's wait until it runs. Okay, so now that it run, let me grab the file and this should be smaller than the previous file right to know that there are no and you can see it here 102 159 it was like four or five rows so it it took it got rid of the headers you can actually download it and check that you don't have them i have done it and it, the headers are not there so this is the way to get rid of the extra headers that get created while doing the loop Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you say thank you to Ratnakar and hope I'm saying your name correctly. And I will see you again on the next video.